Hey guys, what's going on? Nevin's here. Time for your weekly rock wind up. The first for the month of April. No fooling. It seems that Guns N' Roses are going to be adding to the select U.S. dates. Of course, Kansas City is part of that bill. We don't have a date yet or a location. Uh, they're, they're, they're going to expand a, a, beyond that. Obviously, I think it's about a week out that they're going to be playing the very first show in Vegas uh, before doing Coachella. But uh, rumor has it the Colt is going to be opening up for a select shows. And then uh, another sort of you know mysterious photo shows up on their Twitter account. It, show, it basically was a, a stack of drumsticks. Current drummer Richard Farrar says those aren't his. Former drummer Matt Sorum said he used to use those, but not anymore, which leaves many to wonder if Steven Adler will be tapped for all the shows, some of the shows, part of the show. Not really sure how it's going to shake out. Again, doesn't look like Izzy's part of this. Maybe he will be part of it if there's enough money involved. But as of right now, we know it to be Axel, Dots, and Slash, but one would guess that there's probably going to be a drummer there somewhere. So once more of it shakes out, I'll make sure to fill you in. And speaking of Guns N' Roses, uh, more rumors circulating about it being Axel, D Axel CDC for the last 10 shows for ACDC. Uh, according to, I think, TMZ, there's a photo of Axel snapped outside of an Atlanta studio, where then shortly thereafter, ACDC surfaced. So, uh, again, rumors, no confirmation, nothing locked down yet. As this unfolds, I'll make sure to fill you in. And kind of an, uh, going to expand on a non-story that I brought up, I guess, a couple days ago on air, and that's about Dave Draymond, frontman for Disturbed, calling out a fan at a, at a show in Dallas, Texas, for texting throughout the entire show. Now, uh, uh, it, it made people go, well, are you going to let us not bring in cameras and stuff to Rockfest? No, you can bring in a camera, nothing with, obviously, a professional lens. Uh, we encourage that. But, you know, you get to these very intimate shows, whether it's, like, at the Midland, Voodoo Lounge, uh, Uptown Theater, Riot Room, for that matter, Tank Room, whatever. And it seems more than not, so many people are busy on their phones either watching a show through the little screen or too busy to text. Now, this woman was mortified, embarrassed. She's never going to spend money on Disturbed again because he's a jerk. And the reasoning behind her texting, she was concerned about her 14-year-old daughter that got caught in a hailstorm driving home from, like, cheerleading practice or whatever. So she wanted to make sure she was okay. Now... I'm not a, a parent of a teenager. I'm a sort of, I guess you call a stepdad of a seven-year-old. And there's ever a moment where I'm concerned about my child, I'm going to remove myself from a loud music venue to call to see if they're okay. You know, there's a reason why people like Jack White, Maynard Keenan for that matter, with Tool and, and A Perfect Circle and Christopher, don't like cameras and don't like phones during their show because it is a distraction. You look at these old 70s, 80s, 90s concert footage, everybody's into the show. They're giving back to the band. Do I think that there's a little overdoing it in the uh, the uh, cell phone department at shows? Absolutely. fucking Because nothing's more annoying when you're watching a show and then all of a sudden, that's right in front of you. Like, what, really? You're going to hold up an iPad and film it? So... Do I think Draymond was in the right for calling out this woman? Yeah, it's his show. Some people are calling him a jerk and all that. Again, go to the show. Love the show. Get into the show. Don't worry. There's going to be plenty of photos from professional photographers out there you can look at. Sorry to get a little long-winded on the last one. Let's talk about Dope. Full-on reunion for those guys happening this year on the Die Motherfucker Die Tour. Uh, they're going to be going pretty much across the entire United States. I think they're going to swing through Kansas City at some point. I'm not really sure when and where. But it uh, looks like those guys are back, and we'll see if, that all, see if that sticks together this time around. And close out your weekly rock wind up with some... New music announcement. Uh, Motorhead's final Munich show that was filmed on November 20th and 21st is going to be seeing the light of day in a CD, DVD, Blu-ray. That'll drop uh, in May sometime. Speaking of Motorhead, looks like Phil Campbell, guitarist, going to release a uh, solo single, and he's working on putting out a book. Not like a, a tell-all, serious memoir. He said just of all the funny stuff that's happened. Uh, what else? Speaking of solo stuff, Lamb of God guitarist Mark Morton putting out a single, uh, Love Heals. Uh, what else? Cro-Mags founder Harley Flanagan putting out a solo uh, album as well as a memoir, Unlocking the Truth. These are some young, young kids that came out of New York City. They signed a mega deal with Sony and then walked away from because they didn't like kind of how they got hoodwinked into it. So they're going to put out their, finally they're going to put out their, uh, their, their debut album in June titled Chaos. Uh, what else? Looks like Death Angel kicking out a new album. I know that's been in the works for a while. That'll be out May 27th, Evil Divide, but they did drop a new single for that this week, The Moth. And I know there's one more. Oh, yes, Stone Sour back in studio. And speaking of Stone Sour, you're talking about Corey Taylor. He's part of Slipknot and Dysfunctional Family Portrait, the photo album, going to be finally showing up in America. I think it... I think it came out in uh, the UK or something like that. So I'm Nivens. Thank you for tuning in to Weekly Rock Windup. Have a great weekend doing whatever it is you do. And as always.